osteopath and myofascial release therapist. Osteopathy looks at the entire body, focusing on the alignment and correcting the alignment and balance by manipulating all tissues, including muscle, fascia, joints, nerves, blood flow. I developed the face fix treatment from realizing that all the stuff that we do for the body and affecting the structure of the body, like manipulating muscles and fascia, affects the way that we are structurally. So why not incorporate those same elements into the face? So many of the things that we do for the face fix are the same things that we use to help people resolve pain and injury as well. So with the face fix, the main thing that we are looking at is the fascia. So the fascia is the connective tissue that connects everything in your body and gives you a lot of the structural element. So by adjusting the fascia, you can actually change the way that you look. So one of the things we do first is to balance out the fascia by releasing any knots that you have in fascia that can be pulling things down, creating wrinkles, affecting blood flow, and then looking at the muscles, almost like a facial massage, in order to stimulate the muscles, create lift, and also to increase collagen production. So this is essentially the massage portion where I'm looking at any fascia or muscles that are tight and releasing them. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very tight. In fact, you should put it full. I need the full works, guys. <laughs> When it comes to the face fix, I let my patient tell me what they're looking to improve. So sometimes someone might say, you know, the left side of my face looks puffier, or I've noticed over the years I've developed a double chin, or it seems like in the last year since I started this new job, I've aged 10 years. So I don't tell anyone what's wrong with them. I let them tell me what they want to improve. I find that when people come in, they have the particular things that trouble them, and usually it is a finding. And then they might ask for my opinion if there's anything else that I've noticed. And that's when I might point out that there's an asymmetry, or you have looked the forming of a double chin, but likely due to the positioning of your neck, or due to the tightness of the fascia or your jaw, or a lot of times you'll notice, you know, you might be chewing more on one side and that's why you have the imbalance in your face. Things aren't level or aligned. So I look for asymmetry and I look for issues that can be fixed with my fashion release. Your nose is actually quite uh, quite straight, so you don't have to do any adjustments here. <laughs> but some people it's not, so you might have fascia in this area here pulling in one direction, which is what's making their nose look crooked. Release the fascia and then adjust the cartilage. A lot of people, you know, they're scared about facelift or they're scared about getting Botox or fillers or anything that they consider invasive. So they're like, let me try this first and see how that goes. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the times they don't end up going forward with any surgery because the differences in what they were looking for, which is really a rejuvenated appearance, they got from the treatment. You can get more defined jawline, get higher cheekbones, you can get less double chin, you can get better skin coloration, and you can even reduce the side of your most people will find that the first treatment, they see the most results in the first two weeks after treatment. But if you get four cumulative treatments within four to six weeks, usually that's good for an entire year to see some improvements. In order to have long-standing results and have the results actually last a year, I usually recommend that people do some kind of facial massage or facial stimulation daily. So there's easy tools that you can use, like the Gua Sha tool, jade rollers, and a facial massager that can help maintain those effects. So especially if you've had a long, stressful day and everything's crunched up, you can release it all at the end of the day, and then you don't have to worry about undoing the results of what we did. So this was the 24 karat gold massager. So it's just a 24 karat gold, and the reason why you see these massagers with gold is because it tends to boost circulation, and it's a warm metal. So it helps it to be a more effective massage tool. Generally, because we want to create lift, I always recommend going upwards. Right. The only area that is different is for the eye area. I don't recommend dragging around the eye area at all. Right. So for the eye area, just placing it and letting the vibration do its job okay. without moving it. And then if you are moving it, 
move it without, you know, so that the without skin stays in place without right. dragging the without dragging the skin. And this is great for under eye bags as well. Oh, yeah. Can you use it on the upper part of the organ bone too? Yeah, you can use it anywhere. Okay. Wow. You use it here to create a list, so you just hold it up. Okay, just under the eyebrows and hook it under so that you keep your eyebrow up and then let the vibration do its job. I always recommend using an oil. So if a facial oil is part of your routine, you should be using this or a serum. You should be using this after the facial oil or the serum. It'll also help the serum or facial oil do its job better. And then for the jaw, you just want to go under and up. This is a good area not to miss because the then the tongue is going to looking down. The muscles under here get very tight and that's what can cause some people to look like their chins are sagging. But my favorite thing for the jawline is actually the gua sha tool. The contour of the gua sha tool really, and you can probably feel the crunchiness when we get in there, this really helps to contour the jawline.